Grace and peace, everyone. I am Pastor Trish, and again, we are here for another Motivational Monday moment where I get a chance to take a moment to share the Word of God with you. So get excited. Get your word. Hallelujah. I'm so excited what God has given to me for you all today. All right, so our scripture today comes from Psalms chapter 24, verses 7 through 10. Very familiar scripture, but I always get excited about it. And it reads, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. That word Selah there means just to pause. Pause and think about who is the King of glory. In studying this chapter in Psalms, the commentaries believe that this Psalm was written to celebrate the moving of the ark from the house of Obed-Edom to the house of Jerusalem. This Psalm was set to music and it was sung on the first day of each week in the temple services. So I get excited when I read about the history. And it was probably used in corporate worship and it was enacted many times at the temple. So it's important to understand what happens before verse seven. Verses one through six says, and it tells us who is worthy to join in such a celebration of worship. So those who are worthy to be involved in this celebration is he that hath clean hands, he that hath a pure heart, he that hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Now they can participate in this celebration. So this is how it was enacted. The people outside of the temple would call out to the temple gates to open up and let the king of glory come in. Now from inside the temple, the priests or another group, they would ask, who is this king of glory? And outside, the people would respond in unison, unity, the Lord mighty in battle, proclaiming God's great power and his strength. And this was repeated throughout verses 7 and 10. And then the temple gates would swing open, symbolizing the people's desire to have God's presence among them. So my question to you is, who is the king of glory? And I want you to write in your comments right now. Who is the King of glory? Now to me, who is the King of glory? He is the Lord of hosts. He's the King of kings. He's the Lord of lords. He's the commander of heaven's armies, hallelujah. He's the Messiah. He's the eternal one. He's holy. He's mighty. He's righteous. He's our true and living God. He's my savior. He's my soon coming king. He's faithful. He's true. He's the righteous judge. He is the almighty God. He's the lamb of God and he's still the lion. Hallelujah. According to Revelation chapter 9 and verse 13, it says his name is called the word of God. That's his name, the word of God. Now, if you go into John chapter 1 verse 1, it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God, all right? He was his word. John 1, 14 says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. And we know that the Lord of hosts, the King of Kings, his name is Jesus. He is Jesus in the Old Testament. He is Jesus in the New Testament. He is the King of glory. So this Psalm is not only a battle cry for the church, but it also looks forward to the Lord's return, his future entry into the new Jerusalem where he's going to reign forever. So get excited because you know in whom you believe. Text, who is this King of glory? Now, the King of glory that I'm talking about, the great I am, you talking about the true commander in chief, that's who the King of glory is. You know, we're now having our elections as a new commander in chief for the United States, but I tell you saints, you need to pray. This is praying time. No matter who you vote for, we need to be in prayer because the true 
commander in chief is Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. And unless he helps our commander in chief, we are in a crisis. Our nation is even in a crisis right now. So we need to pray to the real commander in chief with the pandemonium, with the pandemic, with all the protests, all everything that's going on. We need to bombard heaven and seek the real king of glory, the real commander in chief. And we know his name is Jesus. So get God a praise. Remember, put in those comments, who is the king of glory? I'm excited. Remember, Psalm Psalms 24, 7 and 8. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, the real commander in chief. And as I love to end, be prayerful, be positive, be purpose. God bless you.